think T-Bonds are the, you know, one of the most quintessential Newfoundland uh, treat. I'd like to be sitting around now eating more T-Bonds with, uh, with the ones that we love right now. So maybe you can stockpile them, start making them, freeze them. They freeze really well. There's a bunch of recipes out there for T-Bonds. I think we all like to think that uh, our moms, our nans invented them all. <laughs> so I think the truth is that they all came from someone else or like the back of the, you know, bacon powder box back 50 years ago. <laughs> Have a look on Newfoundland, on the um, Newfoundland Labrador Heritage website. They've got a great recipe there. I think it's called like Aunt Hilda's Tea Buns and it was, it was done by a group of uh, kids at Mount Pearl High School back in the late 90s, I think. Anyway, they, they listed a bunch of uh, recipes there. Super fun. So, and right now actually, they are looking for people to jump on their site and start documenting what we're making now. So just so that'll be part of history in times to come. Um, you can see that this has just turned into this crumbly kind of batter here, not batter, but mixture. And uh, so what you wanna do is just work all the, all the butter in. You know, mom always said, make the well in the middle. Um, in goes your, your milk and your egg and you can't overwork these right because they will be tough this is also a great recipe for um, making it like savory so you can actually put a pinch of savory in there you can leave the sugar out and put in uh, cheese if you wanted grated cheddar cheese throw a bit of ham or a bit of bacon or anything in there um, and that'll make it like a nice savory breakfast scone gentle mom always said it's padding and not kneading and so you can see how quick that came together i always remember making these with mom when i was young and the kids the kids still make them with me uh, quick thing to put together to feed a crowd with i don't know about your house but it always happens to be extra crowd showing up around supper time at the house not so much anymore so i actually can't wait to get back to that time when the house is full of people to feed I'm sure we're all looking forward to that. So yeah, it'd be fun to uh, hear about what you guys are baking and cooking at this time. So when you're, uh, when you're baking, snap picture, send it along. Send to CBC, I'm sure they'd love to post some pictures up of what you guys are making and baking. And what are always like to touch brown on the top. So, a little drop of milk, or you could do like a milk and egg wash, would be fine too. But actually milk is pretty sweet, so it does give a nice brown on the top. So there's the tea buns, and they go in the oven 400. I do 20 minutes, you want them a bit browner, leave them a bit longer. The good old TV swap out, ta-da! <laughs> now mom and say they're not dark enough. I like them lighter like this, but that's a total preference. You can leave them in for, you know, 10 minutes longer if you want. I find 400 gives it that really nice quick rise. So, um, because there's four, ta four teaspoons of baking powder in it. But again, I got the recipe up for you, so you won't um, need to worry about it. You can always email me, laurie at godsounds.ca, and uh, reach out to the folks at CBC. Tell them what you want to hear about, tell them what you're cooking, let me know what you're making out there. So, yeah, good times. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.